Hi, I'm Bradley with Blue Cord, and today we're going to fill a sinkhole. There's a right way and a wrong way, and our customers spend good money on me to do it the right way. Stick around and see how it's done. There's a few different attachments that we're going to need for today's project. One of them is the stump grinder, and since we have the new prototype, we're going to take this thing because I like it a lot. I got to tell you, once I learned to use this thing, I think it is super awesome. I love the old stump grinder, but I got to tell you, there is a time and a place for this one and a time and a place for this bad boy right here, and that's today. The other attachment we're going to be using is the power rake. We're going to be using the old style slip scoop, not the power bucket. I got the teeth and the grapple on that. It's super cool, but when I'm excavating, the grapple just gets in the way. Once the grading is finished over the sinkhole, the customer also wants some aeration and seeding done. So we're gonna take the aerator with us as well and a bag of premium seed. Let's get loaded up and get ready to roll out of here. You guys see the sinkhole here, it fills with water. The customer wants me to dig this out, fill it back in, and make this really nice and level again. Not a problem. And you can see we removed a couple of yards of material out of here. Mud, really. And you can see the bottom of the hole now is pretty dry. So the water really wasn't able to seep in and that's not a terrible thing. Uh, you know, frankly, I probably could have just put a bunch of stone in there on top of the water, but I like to be thorough. And I want to dig in there and try to figure out what exactly is going on. And there was some root structures that I ran into. So that confirms the theory. This was a tree stump and it just kind of decomposed over time and settled and turned into a pretty decent depression. So now the next step is uh, gonna get in here with the stump grinder and chase some roots down and just make sure that everything's gonna be pretty smooth uh, before we introduce the stone and the topsoil back over this area before we seed it.
I'm pretty sure we're finished with the stump grinder. I wanted to chase some of the roots down to some of the other uh, trees that had been cut down. So when I do go over to grade it, it's going to be nice and smooth and I'm not going to hit anything. That's only been a few minutes, maybe half an hour. And you can already see that the bottom of this hole is starting to dry up with the sun out. We got below where the water was able to settle in the high clay content soil. It couldn't soak in. So we scooped it out. Now we're going to start putting stone in here because stone doesn't compress. The last thing we want to do is put dirt back in there first. We want to get the stone in there first and then get the dirt on top. The less compression, the less settling that will occur over time because there's no equipment on this earth that will compress the soil to the same densities and levels that Mother Nature will on her own over time. We got three tons of stone all the stones off the driveway it's in here now i'm going to take the power rake we're going to grade this a little bit and uh, mimic the contour because i'm going to adjust this end a little bit and lower this pull this material back lower this raise this to give water a better egress to the edge of the property so let's do that now and then the next step after that is we'll introduce the topsoil Because this video is only two-dimensional, it's kind of hard to visualize what I've just done here before I introduce any of the new topsoil. What I've done is pulled the surrounding material, which was a little high down in this area, and moved it up here and created one smooth, even, uniform layer that goes from up there down to here to allow water a way to escape without getting caught in this low spot. And I haven't even introduced the new topsoil yet. We're going to do that right now and this is going to look even better i'm super excited because i know how this is going to turn out once the new soil is in and graded on top then we'll get the aerovator put the seed in and we're done
now that we have the three yards of topsoil on top of the three tons of stone, you can see how I kept all the mounds up at the higher end, that being the lower end. And now I'm gonna carefully and precisely Ventrac, precisely grade this. That I know that one crank equals one eighth of an inch, eight cranks equals one inch. That is very important here, because I've already checked this grade. So anyway, let's get started and smooth this out. Keep this grade so the runoff has a way to go. This is why people spend the money for me to do this. Right here. This is absolutely beautiful. Now we gotta put the grass seed in, let's get that done, and then we're finished. The final phase in this multifaceted project is to use the aerovator, put seed on this, and then we're finished. I make this look good. If you guys are enjoying these videos, don't be bashful. 
hit that like button and subscribe to our channel and hit the notifications bell and that way when we upload new awesome videos not only will you be the first to know but other people who would love this channel as well will be able to find us more easily if you have any questions or comments please leave them down below i take the time to read them all and i respond thanks so much for joining us and we'll see you next time Thank you.